right, boys. Welcome to the side of the ring because it's time for some ringside rumors. Now, sit down. Chatter about AEW's fortunes has increased about after chatter about AEW's fortunes. Ooh, has increased after Dave Meltzer wrote in the Wrestling Observer newsletter that the company's advanced tell. Wow, the company's advanced ticket sales do not tell a good story at all. And said on Wrestling Observer Radio that, quote, people have been saying they, AEW, went from their own identity to being guys that WWE didn't want. You keep bringing in these WWE hotshot guys for a rating, and it's almost like TNA was, if you remember. So, uh, okay. I'm not, here's what I'm going to say. AEW is very slowly, very slowly, like a raindrop on the windshield of a car. Very slowly turning into a parody of themselves where it's just everyone's not doing anything everyone is doing something and really no one's doing much of anything i mean all right what storyline do we have right now all right man this is bad i really should know what storylines we have and it's funny because i'm not even watching raw or smackdown or nxt actually i don't even know that well i know a couple story nxt storylines because i know there's the alba fire and mandy rose one right all right, what do we have? I know it. I know. Okay, so MJF is feuding with Wheeler Yuta. What else? Shush. I know, Hold on. I have no idea. To be fairly honest with you, I can't think of anything. I know that. Uh, I know the. Nope. The, the, what's it? I forget his name. I forget his name. He's the guy with the box on his head. I forget his fucking name. I can't think of any storylines. To be fairly honest with you, I have no goddamn idea. I, okay, hold on. Should we... Okay, I know Hook is also doing something. I like how I just typed in AEW. Hold on a second. Should we go looking? This is actually going to be an extended version of uh, the episode of the of the Ringside Rumors, which is great. It's really just been me complaining a lot about um, just... Really just, just like the story... Just It's not even the storylines. It's the wrestlers that aren't necessarily like doing anything. What? Do we, oh yeah, Soraya, Soraya came back. Is that even a story? Uh, don't even get me started on that, man. Oh, yeah, so Hook had a match, and then the Trust Busters came out, and they gave him, like, a note, and then it was like, whatever. Why does Hangman Adam Page have his sights set on Roosh? Why does Hangman Adam Page have his sights set on Roosh? And they claim we're in a match, so they're good. Ricky Starks was in a squash match with somebody. Um, uh, let's see. So, yeah, I guess they've got the... Oh, yeah, and then Daniel Garcia's got in a storyline... Because it looks like he's about to leave and everything. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Jericho's the Ring of Honor champion as well. That's going. Oh, yeah. And then it's Hangman Page versus uh, Who's He What's It's because Hangman won the Battle Royal and everything. So, never mind. Okay. I know. I know. I know. There's storylines. There's storylines. But <sighs> I'm more interested in the storylines in WWE right now. What does that say? I don't know what that says. I don't know what to think. I honestly don't know what to think. Because... Well, I don't really care, to be totally honest with you. I don't know what to think. I am actually more interested in the storylines with WWE right now, just because I feel like there's more character. There's more character in WWE than there is in AEW. Everyone is just a wrestler, you know? Like, and I feel like they're really taking a long time giving a lot of the shine. Hangman didn't have to win. Roosh could have won. Or no, Bandito could have won. You could have had Bandito in there, but why did Hangman win? You gotta have fucking John Silver or something win. Like, that's that's mainly what it is, to be honest with you. None of the storylines are, like, compelling. They're not like, whoa, I can't wait to see what happens. Like, it's it's either not interesting or it's too predictable. Like, fucking Heyman's not winning. It's going to be MJ, it's gonna be MJF. And if MJF doesn't win, oh, you guys fucked up, man. It's gotta be MJF winning that world title, man. It has to be. So, it makes sense. <laughs> that the ticket sales okay i don't know man you can't you can't ask me about the ticket sales i have no idea because that's that's a that's a whole other realm that i'm not even remotely familiar with you know but to be fair from the outside looking in if the ticket sales aren't really going that well then that clearly means that nobody's really that interested in the shows right so i don't know man if you're tony khan you gotta be fucking thinking something you gotta you gotta be thinking something man Next, following their angle on last week's SmackDown, PW Insider reports Max Dupree is again listed as LA Knight on WWE's internal roster, while Mace, Mansoor, and Maxine Dupree will keep working the Maximum Male Models gimmick. Good. This is 
exactly what I was talking about. You can have LA Knight fuck off, and the maximum male models can 100% still be a tag team. And LA Knight could probably do a thing, maybe like six months down the line, where he's like, he, he eyes him up, and then he keeps walking. You can do that. It's easy. Man, bruh, have you seen Mason Mansoor? Or, um, Dio? Isn't that his name? Dio Madden? Have you seen those two? They are in love with this storyline. They are in love with it. Okay, they are having the time of their fucking life in that storyline. And that is all the more reason to fucking keep them together as maximum male models. Bro, you can have Maxine Dupree. You, bro, you can train her as a wrestler, bro. They can be a whole thing, okay? There's no reason why max why the maximum male models gimmick uh, um, is, shouldn't, like, still be a thing. Like, bro, book them to the moon. Put a rocket to their back, man, okay? They deserve it. Next, at the time of Cody Rhodes' injury, WWE sources told Fightful Select that Vince McMahon hadn't solidified plans to have Cody win the WWE or Universal titles. McMahon was completely committed to Roman Reigns' as double champ, and there was no sign he was ready to move on from that plan. Well, yeah. I mean, bro, y'all will complain till the sun comes up about Roman being the double champion. Shut the fuck up. He's the double champion. What are you going to do? Like, this is probably one of the most, like, solid storylines that's been going on for the last, like, what, year? Year and some, like, at least two, at least. This has been going on for quite some time now, and now I feel as though that it's, it is carefully being cradled by Triple H. It is carefully being handled in a way that it is that is not going to damage any of the characters. Did it fall off a little bit? Yes, but now I feel as though that there's more intricacies happening around the whole un undisputed the U champion. I guess you know that you really don't need to worry all that much. I don't understand why everyone. Is, oh, we're in the Roman era. Oh, the champion. Bro, shut the fuck up. Shut up. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Everybody else is getting booked perfectly fine. Fucking relax, all right? You're just mad because you're boring, okay? You fucking eat plain white toast like Elwood for the Blues Brothers, and you drink coffee with no creamer. Ah, oh, heinous. Next, while Brandi Rhodes did work some matches at the Performance Center recently, Fightful says she doesn't have a WWE deal. Warner Brothers Discovery also reached out to her last month, but the site doesn't know what about. Okay, well, then I assume it's like a show or something, then. I assume it's some sort of, like, uh, spinoff. Is Shot of Brandy still... I think it is. I think. I don't actually know. Is Shot of Brandy still, like, around? I have no idea. I mean, she's probably still doing, like, a bunch of shit right now. I mean, she's probably got, like, you know, a uh, bunch of different projects and stuff that she's working on. You know what I mean? And... I mean, I don't know. If I'm Brandy, yeah, sure, fuck it. I'll, I'll go down to the performance center. Why not? I'll limber up. I'll, I'll loosen, I'll get all, sorry, I'll, I'll loosen the muscles, all right? I'll get the bones oiled, okay? Beats fucking sitting on the couch, all right? I mean, I, I'm not really going to complain about that, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I assume it's like a show or something. Like, to assume it's some sort of, like, wrestling angle, I mean, you know, you're being a bit, you're jumping the gun a little bit there. I, I doubt it's anything, you know, fucking crazy like that. Finally, Biff Busick, formerly known as Oni Lorcan, oh, who wrestled in WWE as Oni Lorcan, is working as a guest coach at the PC this week, per Insider. Great. He's a guest coach. Um, Shouts out to DPW, because I know he's also he also frequents there. Well, not frequents. He was there, I think. Is he on the roster? I actually have no idea. I wonder if I can look that up. The DPW. Can we do that? DPW. DPW roster. Can I do that? Journal manager Alex Riley. That is not. Okay. Discover Pro Wrestling. There it is. Deadlock Pro Wrestling. Here we go. Oh, I don't know. I thought that that was like Bojack, Rachel Rose, The Reality. Shouts out to uh, Curse Danger, Calvin Tankman, Bojack again. Oh, these are the champions. These are the champions. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, wow, this is actually a really nice website too. Can I look at the roster? Wrestler. Here we go. Wrestlers. Bojack, Rachel. Okay, those are the champions. Adam Priest, Alec Price, ASF. Well, it's B, isn't it? Blake Christian. Yeah, yeah, look, Biff Music. He's on the roster. Let's go. Nice. Oh, yeah, shout out to Kevin Koo. He's nice. Shout out to Kid Bandit. Uh, Lucky Ali, Luther. Who else? Oh, yeah, Sawyer Rex. Shout out to Sawyer Rex. I like she slipped people off. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, oh, yeah, JD Drake. J Malachi, I think. Uh, Donnie Ray. Oh, yeah, Andrew Everett. Yeah, man. All these guys are absolutely amazing. So that's the roster. <laughs> 
Uh, Biff Busick is Biff Busick actually is listed on there. That's great. So, yeah, man. I mean, it doesn't really. It, it makes a lot of sense that you know he's uh he's going to the PC and he's like, hey, this is how you do it on track, you bastard. That's not how he talks. I don't know what was that accent. Anyway, um, so yeah, boys, that's gonna do. What do we talk about? Chat about AEW's fortunes. All right, so the ticket sales are doing well. I, okay, because there's so many different variables as to why, and I can't, I know that once I start talking, I'm going to talk as though it is one thing, and it's not one thing, that's why I said I can't speak on it because I don't know, so it could be a myriad of different things, but, okay, I know that I am of the majority when I say that w AEW could, could take a page out of Triple H's book if they wanted to in the sense of making the, making the characters just a little bit more Charactery. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. PW Insider reports Max Dupree is listed as LA Knight. Great. Let the Maximum Mill models, bro, let them do their thing. Bro, leave them, bro. Give them a paper and a pencil. Let them do their thing, okay? They are doing their thing. Uh, Cody Rhodes' injury. Oh, yeah. So Vince McMahon was not going to give him the Universal titles. Yeah, man, obviously fucking wasn't. What are you talking about? Cutter's just gonna fucking wander in and then fuck his pack up and then Vince is gonna be like, ah, here you go. What are you talking about? Uh, Brandy Rhodes uh, did some matches of the performance center recently. Warner Bros. Discovery also reached out to her. I mean, I assume it's about like some sort of TV. Well, are they still doing the Rhodes to the top? Are they still doing that? Well, no, they're not, are they? Because they're not with AW anymore. So, never mind. Uh, Five says she doesn't have a WWE deal. And finally, Biff Busick wrestled on WWE's only Lorcan is working as a guest coach on the PC this week. Shout out to him. Listen, all right? I mean, give yourself something to do. I can't really complain. Folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode because I certainly enjoyed making it out. Definitely catch you guys in the next one.